I'm Tori with Big Time Super Friends, and today we're going to review Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> Ghost in the Shell is a sci-fi action thriller, um, basically follows Major Kusanagi as she, working with Section 9, attempts to catch a hacker, um, which they call the Puppet Master. And things happen along the way, but Basically, this movie is about her questioning her existence, questioning the nature of reality, and questioning the nature of humanity. So one of the scenes where this is highlighted the most for me is when Kusanagi and Bateau are having a conversation about um, the nature of humanity, essentially. She's questioning her existence, questioning whether or not she was ever human. There are other parts in the film where they discuss this, and I think it gets really metaphysical and really philosophical, and that's my favorite thing. But when showing this to other people, or just as a moment of revelation for myself when I first watched it, this scene spells out plainly exactly what the movie is about. Another scene that I think is uh, really important in this film is towards the end when there's this confrontation between, um, I'm not sure if it's just like a spider, robot, or touch coma, um, but basically there's a shot where the major is on top of this uh, robot, and behind her is this huge tree of life. Um, and it just stops there for a long time and it makes you look at it. I think it's really important because it perfectly illustrates another point of this movie, which is human evolution. And the tree of life is important because I think that the theme of the movie is sort of hinting at the fact that transcending their bodies, transcending physical forms, would be the next step of evolution for humans. And this is illustrated by the fact that she's at the root of the tree, like a new branch in the evolutionary line of humans. So now I want to talk a little bit about character development. And I know that there's quite a handful of characters in this movie, but I only want to focus on three because I think they're the only three that matters. First, the major. I think that she is a child character. And in the scene, in the opening scene when she is being made, it's like a birthing scene for her. This is the beginning of her character, the genesis of her character. And I think the whole entire plot of the movie is her becoming an adult, her becoming aware of herself. So I think that she's the character with the most development in this movie. Another character would be Bateau, her partner. Um, this character, I think, uh, doesn't have a lot of development necessarily, but he does serve as a plot or a spurring point for uh, Kusanagi. He's basically there to help guide her towards the answer she's looking for. Um, and this also goes back to the scene where they're talking, and he gives her advice on what it is to be human. Um, I think he's a sort of foil to her, um, so I don't necessarily like him as a character himself. He's cool, but I think that he serves as an important plot device for Kusanagi's character. So the last character I want to talk about is the Puppet Master. Um, he's the hacker that they're looking for, the main antagonist of the film. Um, but in truth, he is actually um, growth for the character herself. Um, he is what she's seeking. And towards the end of the movie, when they finally do meet, that's a moment of revelation for her. Um, I think his character works so well for me because you don't know much about him. You don't know his origins. We hear a mysterious backstory of he was created, but we don't really know what he wants or what he's after. Um, and when that's revealed, that is the plot of the movie, in my opinion. Okay, so a few things that I think really work in this movie is definitely going to be the art direction, um, just as an artist myself. I love the color palette and the character design. I love that they stuck so closely to the style of the original manga. Secondly, I really enjoyed the music, um, mainly the main theme, um, that Japanese wedding song that they have playing through. I think it really heightens the themes of the movie. And I also like the world building. Everything feels really real, um, even down to the part where, you know, if they drop, you know, ammunition into water, it starts to sizzle. I mean, it's just really, really realistic. Some cons, um, there really aren't many. I would say, uh, if anything, the runtime is a little short. Um, I think that works for the pacing, though. Um, and that would be my next con, is the pacing. For some people, it can be difficult to get through. There's a lot of philosophical existential dialogue that break up the action scenes, and it's really, really stark. So for some people, that may be a problem. So with all that said, my rating for this film is definitely going to be an A. Um, I would give it an A+, plus, but I think it's not open enough for that. Um, so I think a really solid A does this movie justice. It's definitely a classic, and I think that everybody who's interested in animation should certainly check it out. 
Alright guys, that's it for me. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can check out the rest of our movie reviews by clicking on our channel. Um, I think you will really enjoy the variety there. Yeah.